In this video, I'm gonna chat you through all the basics of track standing. I'm even gonna get the rest of the GCN presenters to show us their best track standing skills too. Nothing like making your coffee while track standing. I'm getting cocky right now talking about porridge. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I didn't even get onto my porridge toppings. Track standing. It's a very useful skill to have. It'll help you stay upright without having to unclip. It'll save you a load of time and it'll help improve your balance. And it does look pretty impressive. Just check out Lasty here. Legend has it, he's still there track standing to this day. And it does look pretty impressive. Track standing comes from the track, used a lot in track racing in races such as the match sprint, and they would use it to try and get their opponent to go in front of them. First up, please always wear a helmet. It's better to be safe than sorry. You also need to find somewhere relatively quiet where it doesn't matter if you're static on your bike for too long. Also, try and find a slight incline as it will make this a little bit easier. And if you haven't done this before and you are slightly worried about falling off, it might be better to try it in trainers as you won't have to worry about unclipping and do it on grass so you have a soft landing. Find where you want to track stand and gradually come to a stop and turn your wheel one way or the other. I prefer to point my wheel to the right and lead with my right leg, but you might find it easier doing it the opposite way. If you are doing this on a slight gradient, when you let go with the, of the pressure with your leading leg, you'll roll backwards. So try and find the right pressure and the right balancing point. Try and centre your body weight. Having too much weight forward over the handlebars will throw you off balance. Stand up on your pedals with your legs slightly bent. I find the best place to position my hands is on the hoods. You don't really want to hold your tops as it will put you off balance. With more practice and as you get better, you'll be able to do them on flatter terrain and maybe even non-handed. Remember, if you are track standing out on the road, you need to be aware of your surroundings. So make sure you keep looking up and around you. I know it's tempting to stare at your front wheel. I also thought I'd set a challenge for the rest of the GCM presenters to show us their best track standing skills. Here's mine. Bit, bit wobbly. Man on. Do you reckon they fell for it? Right, here goes. It's not often that I have to put a helmet on when uh, riding in my back garden, but uh, seems prudent, especially when these are involved. Wish me luck. I'm just getting comfy. No bikes will be harmed in the making of this video. Right, here we are, Connor Dunn here. About to put all the other GCM presenters to shame and show how a track stand should be done. We're gonna be here for quite a while, I think. So, make yourself comfortable. Hoping the GoPro battery's gonna last long enough because this could be an odyssey. Start the clock. Could be here for a while. So I thought, thought I'd talk about my favorite porridge recipes. I think if you're gonna have the perfect porridge, You've got to use just full fat milk, rolled oats, whole oats are better, they'll take longer to cook than the milled oats. Track stand, they're comfy. This is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Nothing like making your coffee while track standing. <laughs> Come on! Right, you have to take it, you have to take it, got that. Cheers. Marvel.
think it might be the juggling bolts. I can only find two of my son, so the other's an apple. I think it's throwing me off balance. Otherwise, I'd totally nail that. That no one actually grasps and no one pays much attention, but it's, it's all so important. I'm getting cocky right now talking about porridge. Right, now my favorite. Oh, no, oh, no, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even get onto my porridge toppings. Oh, right, you'll have to listen to my porridge toppings another time. That was my track stand attempt. I think it was a good effort. I think Manon or someone was going to come in here and just, just destroy it. Or Hank's probably done it for 24 hours or something. Yeah. Oh, How many times can I ruin my house trying to do a track stand? Right, we're up. That's not working. Where I want it to work. Who do you think had the best track standing skill? Have your say by voting on the GCN app. Now it's over to you guys. Do you think you can do better than us? Why not take part in our track stand challenge and upload your best tricks to the GCN app or on social media using the hashtag GCN track stand challenge.